Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party, Triple C, led by advocate Nelson Chamisa, has called on the SAD to respect its own protocols and processes. Speaking ahead of a SAD meeting that is going to take place in Rwanda, Angola at the weekend, Trust in Lovu, who is the chairperson of the Triple C in South Africa, called on the regional body to consider the report of its election observer mission, which declared Zimbabwe's elections as having come short of the SATIC protocol on democratic elections. Lovu also implored the regional body to intervene in Zimbabwe and make sure that an atmosphere of tranquility and political tolerance prevails. Yes, we're looking forward to see uh, the SADC uh, meeting taking place tomorrow in, in, in Rwanda, Angola, and we expect the SADC member states to focus on issues of security, peace, and uh, governance uh, regarding the countries like uh, DRC and other parts of SADC. But now, we also hope that uh, uh, the issue of Zimbabwe election, disputed elections, uh, as reported by SADC observers, will also feature in through the SADC Troika chairperson, uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Mr. Hakainde Ashilema, will table the report to the SADC member states and discuss. And we wish and think that they will find in their wisdom uh, it's necessary to find a lasting solution in Zimbabwean crisis. We understand that uh, in Zimbabwe there is a crisis, a, a constitutional crisis, there's crisis in leadership, there's crisis in governance, uh, there is cri economic crisis, you name that. But uh, in the hope that uh, uh, they will discuss about this sad report, we pray and the wish uh, that uh, SADC member states will pronounce a lasting resolution to the Zimbabwean uh, crisis. You know, you can tell that uh, in Zimbabwe right now, we're witnessing people, uh, both honored people and uh, members of government and the opposition, like the MPs, uh, being abducted, beaten, you know, injected with unknown substances. The Triple C leader says his party has not yet shifted from its demand for a fresh, free and fair election. In addition, our demands are very clear, uh, is that we need new and fresh elections under a new environment. We need elections to be conducted by an independent pro pro presider. And uh, we also need uh, uh, a, a dialogue. People should uh, start talking to each other. Leaders in Zimbabwe should start talking to each other and find the lasting solution as well. But now, we know that we are dealing with a, a heartless, a brutal regime, a leaders who don't care, uh, nothing uh, except the power retention. So we would love to see the dialogue, talking, uh, leaders talking, finding out how best they can take the country forward. Without this thing that is happening in the country, that you find uh, leadership of the opposition uh, being arrested, being harassed, uh, you know, they are treated as if they are not the citizens of the country. So, yes, uh, I, I want to believe that uh, uh, Sadiq will find it, uh, it, it, it necessary uh, to make pronouncement regarding Zimbabwe and that uh, we can find ourselves uh, engaging each other as Zimbabweans and uh, of course uh, uh, any possibility which we cannot prescribe at the moment for example there can be an arrangement of uh, a transitional authority there can be an arrangement uh, which will reform uh, will bring about reforms in the country however speaking about the same summit zimbabwe communist party general secretary nabuto nicolas mapena said very little should be expected from the summit as such leaders have seemingly already endorsed the zanu pf win in the just ended election we, we know that uh, sata held a virtual uh, summit uh, and we saw the president of angola uh, congratulating 
Zimbabwe and Eswatini for holding what they call a peaceful election. So we do not expect that this weekend something dramatic is going to happen. There is nothing like Zimbabwe being asked to have a rerun of the elections uh, because Sadak has already taken a position that uh, notwithstanding uh, what the observer mission team said, but they think that Zimbabwe did hold peaceful elections and uh, the next elections in Zimbabwe are going to be in 2028. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, those that uh, want to get to an election, they should prepare for the by-elections for the 9th of December. Uh, but of course, the High Court uh, uh, had a case was in session yesterday when they were deliberating on the recalls by uh, the Interim Secretary General of Triple C. Uh, if the court rules in favor of Chabot so people should prepare for those by elections uh, uh, and then uh, of course the next election is going to be in 2028 there's nothing dramatic that is going to come from Sata. we have also seen what professor mandaza is saying that uh, the, there's going to be a transitional authority in zimbabwe there's not going to be a transitional authority in zimbabwe because you are transiting from uh, what to what uh, so if Sadak says there were elections were free and uh, fair or yes as President Ramaphosa said in the United Nation, Nations that uh, mistakes were there and uh, these mistakes should be corrected that does not call for a transitional authority and uh, this is not going to happen